Welcome to our daily devotion. The Methodist Church of Barbados invites you to sing, pray, and worship with us as we declare God's glory and celebrate His mighty acts. Dear Lord, you are not a God created by human hands. You are not a God dependent on any mortal man. You are not a God in need of anything we can give. By your plan, that's just the way it is. You are the only God whose power none can contain. You are the only God whose name and praise will never end. You are the only God who's worthy of everything we can give. You are God. That's just the way it is. You're unchangeable, unshakable, unstoppable. That's who you are. You are God alone. From before time began, you were on your throne. You are God alone. And right now, in the good times and bad, you are on your throne. You are God alone. What can wash away my sin? Nothing, Lord, but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing, Lord, but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is the flow that makes me white as snow. No other font I know. Nothing, Lord 
but the blood of Jesus. For my pardon, this I see, nothing but the blood of Jesus. For my cleansing, this my plea, nothing but the blood of Jesus. Nothing can for sin atone, nothing but the blood of Jesus. Not of good that I have done, nothing but the blood of Jesus. This is all my hope and peace. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. This is all my righteousness. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Now by this I'll overcome. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Now by this I'll reach my home. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Glory, glory, this I sing. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. All my praise for this I bring. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. I give you thanks, Lord, for your mercy never fails me. All my days I've been held in your hands. From the moment that I wake up until I lay down my head, that's why I will sing of the goodness of you, my Lord. I give you thanks, Lord, because you are closer like no other. Because I've known you as a father. Because I've known you as a friend. Because your goodness runs after me. Because all my life, you, my God, have been faithful. And because all my life, you have been so, so good to me. To God be the glory. Great things you have done. Amen and Amen. Matthew chapter 14, verses 22 to 34. Immediately, he made the disciples get into the boat and go on ahead to the other side. Well, he dismissed the crowds. And after he had dismissed the crowds, 
he went up the mountain by himself to pray. When evening came, he was there alone. But by this time, the boat, battered by the waves, was far from away from land. For the wind was against them. And early in the morning, he came walking toward them on the sea. But when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified, saying, It is a ghost. And they cried out in fear. But immediately, Jesus spoke to them and said, Take heart, it is I. Do not be afraid. Peter answered him, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. He said, Come. So Peter got out of the boat, started walking on the water, and came toward Jesus. But when he noticed a strong wind, he became frightened, and beginning to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me. Jesus immediately reached out his hand and caught him, saying to him, You of little faith, why did you doubt? When they got into the boat, the wind ceased, and those in the boat worshipped him, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. There are a few familiar biblical stories about Jesus that make me go, wow. I am not sure about you, but for me, after reading it, I often ask myself, who is this man called Jesus? So this evening, I want to answer that question, who is this man called Jesus? 
In the story recorded in Matthew 14, verses 22 to 34, Jesus walking on water simply amazes me because it clearly demonstrates the power of this man called Jesus, who he really is. It is important for us to note that this was not the first time that the disciples were in a boat and being faced with a storm. However, on each occasion, Jesus was there to remove their fears, doubts, anxieties, and panic. For us to truly understand the magnitude of this story, we must examine the first encounter of being in a storm on a boat with Jesus. This experience is found in Matthew chapter 8, verses 13 to 27. And it states that both Jesus and the disciples got onto the boat and started to sail. Then they were faced with an unexpected storm. And the disciples became fearful, doubtful, anxious, and panic. During this time, Jesus would have been sleeping. And they went and woke him up saying, Lord, save us. We are going to drown. Jesus' reply was, You of little faith, why are you so afraid? Then he got up and rebuked the winds and the waves, and it was completely calm. The disciples were amazed and asked, What kind of man is this? Even the winds and the waves obey him. Six chapters later, the disciples were faced with similar predicament, being on a boat and faced once again with a storm. But this time, Jesus was not there. Once again, the disciples became fearful, doubtful, anxious, and panicked. And in the midst of all the chaos, they did not recognize the appearance of Jesus. Jesus said to them, Take courage. It is I. Don't be afraid. Still not understanding the mammoth nature of this man. Peter says, Lord, if it is you, tell me to come to you on water. And Jesus said, come. <laughs> well, what makes this even more interesting is that when the rain started again, fear, doubt, anxiety, and panic overcame Peter. And he started to sink and he shouted, Lord, save me. Jesus reached out and caught him and said, You of little faith, why did you doubt? Now, and when they got onto the boat, they worshipped him saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. So, why this story means so much to us in 2022? And today, who can we say is this man called Jesus? Today, the world is being faced with a number of storms. Economic, social, emotional, climatic, pandemic, <laughs> and so much more. That we too become fearful, doubtful, anxious, and panic. Oftentimes, we do not recognize the appearance of Jesus in the midst of our own personal chaos. We so often feel forsaken, forgotten, and forlorn because we too do not understand the powerful, supernatural nature of this man called Jesus. But it is in these moments of weakness that we experience the amazing power and presence of Jesus. For he is the one that when we are in trouble, he appears to us. In time of fear, anxiety, and panic, he comforts us. In time of doubt, he reassures us. And when we stumble, slip, or fall, he saves us. That is who he is. He is nothing less than our Savior and our Lord. As we journey into this new year, 2022, 
Let's go forward in faith and with full assurance that this man, Jesus, is truly the Son of God. Even though I'm so very ordinary and nothing special on my own, even though I have never walked on water and I have never calmed a storm, even though sometimes I'm hiding away from the madness around me like a child who's afraid of the dark. It's Jesus, it's his hand I see. I know when I call upon Jesus, all things are possible. He will save me. I can mount on wings like eagles and soar above the seas. I know when I call upon Jesus, mountains are going to fall because he will move heaven and earth to come rescue me from the fall. We can call him in the morning, at noon time or late in the evening. He'll be there. He'll be there when our hearts are broken, when we feeling discouraged and sad. We can just remember that he said, he'll never leave us nor forsake us. My friends, he'll make our hearts glad. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord, you were favorable to your land. You restored the fortunes of Jacob. You forgave the iniquity of your people. You pardoned all their sin. You withdrew all your wrath. You turned from your hot anger. Restore us again, O God of our salvation, and put away your indignation towards us. Will you be angry with us forever? Will you prolong your anger to all generations? Will you not revive us again so that your people may rejoice in you? 
Show us your steadfast love, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Brothers and sisters, God calls us to step out in faith, to follow where he leads, even if what he calls us to do seems impossible. So let's go from here with courage, trusting in God's presence and power and eager to do God's will. And may the blessing of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be among you and within you wherever you find yourself in this coming week. And the people of God say, Amen. of our daily devotion. We trust it has been a blessing to you. Now together, let us hold fast to his word and may it dwell in all of us richly.